Welcome back to All About the Paws, the ultimate podcast for all things dogs. I am your host, Andretta, and today we're going to be talking about interpreting your dog's facial expressions. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to read your dog's emotions, also how to strengthen your bond and just better understand what your furry friend is trying to say to you. Make sure you stay to the end because I go into full detail about the top five dog facial expressions and also what they mean. So I'm going to start off by saying, yes, your dog is making puppy eyes at you. And sometimes science confirms the obvious. So y'all, dogs are like babies that never grow up, right? This is both a great strength and it could be a huge annoyance, mostly because they can't talk. Now, researchers who study infant learning and behavior have to rely on other cues like how long subjects look at an object because asking them questions is just a pretty much big waste of time, right? Dogs are the same. And that makes it very difficult to come to definitive conclusions about their behavior and what it means. We know, for example, that humans interpret dogs' facial expressions as conveying certain emotions and that doing so affects our behavior. Pups, who raise their inner eyebrows, making those big, sad eyes up at you, are more likely to get adopted from shelters. That's probably because we find them more adorable when their eyes are large and round, like babies. The biological response to these features is fairly hardwired into us, though that doesn't make things any less tragic for the poor, the poor fur baby, excuse me, who didn't manage to look cuter in their cages. I mean, my gosh, they're already in a horrible situation. What we don't know is whether dogs are changing their facial expressions intentionally, but plenty of animals look sad when they are sad, right? Humans included. Our facial expressions show how we feel. But that look, regardless of whether anyone is there to see it, of an animal expressing themselves, we must pay attention, but not when they're alone, because that's called communication. And dogs seem to do that very well. Not long ago, y'all, animal psychologists found that pups made more expressions when their owners were looking at them than when their humans' back were turned. And that happened whether the dogs were offered food or not. So it seems that this isn't just about the pupper being generally excited. Food, as it turns out, has been found to be more arousing to dogs than any human contact. So long as the person doesn't say anything. Like, you know, some humans are the same way. (laughs) If facial expressions are just an involuntary response to excitement, dogs should make the same number of expressions when presented with food as they do under a human's gaze. The fact that they don't, that they actually make more eyebrow movements when a human is facing them, might seem obvious. But it seems that way only because we assume a lot about our pets. It's easy for us to impose our own feelings on a sweet, loving animal who can't correct our assumptions. But that doesn't mean we're right. Lots of pets, owners, attribute human-like emotions to their canine companions, even when the evidence suggests they're mistaken. People often think that their dogs and cats feel guilt when they've done something wrong and they have to be punished accordingly. But studies have found that this is just an expression that pets put on to appease their owners. It's not real guilt and they don't actually realize what they've done wrong. So while we think we're punishing them for something they know they've done, they may just feel we're punishing them out of the ordinary. Now, not all human-like behavior is dangerous, of course. It's just important to figure out what's fact and what's fiction. Our seemingly obvious intuitions about our best friends can be wrong. And that's why canine research exists. Even if it seems like science is just confirming the obvious, we still have to confirm it. So yes, it's a little unsurprising to learn that dogs intentionally make eye contact with us. Dogs evolved alongside humans, 
And it seems natural for them to be under selective pressure to develop traits that allow the two species to communicate, or at least to reflect the desires of the people they live with, right? After all, it was our desire for non-aggressive companions that caused dogs to evolve away from their wolf ancestors and become increasingly like eternal puppies. They make eye contact with humans that gives both parties a feel-good boost. While their wolf compatriots avoid that type of bonding, and if a person meets a dog's gaze, then points or gestures to a hidden object, the furry friend is able to find the item successfully. Our canine buds are highly attuned to our behavior. It follows that humans might also have taken a shine to that eyebrows and raising, eye whitening gaze. So we appropriately call puppy dog eyes, thereby unintentionally causing dogs to make that expression more often. Over time, that selective pressure may have given dogs the ability to change their expressions in order to communicate rather than accidentally conveying emotion. We don't know for sure that wolves don't do this. And as social animals trying to survive in the wild, they may very well do it better than dogs, or perhaps they just do it differently. After all, Primates evolve their expressive face, excuse me, their expressive faces for each other, not for humans. If wolves have the ability to, that would suggest that it evolved out of a social pressure having nothing to do with people. The research into canine expression neither confirms nor denies any of that. It focuses on the human dog relationship and pretty much nothing else. Dogs seem to use more facial expressions when a human is paying attention to them. What that means is another question entirely. Of course, y'all, it feels good. Like your dog's trying to tell you things. And in many cases, they are. It's just important that we bother to confirm the intuition using actual evidence. Because you know what happens when you assume, right? So now it's your turn to learn how to interpret your dog's facial expressions. First up is the head tilt. There's nothing cuter than a good doggy head tilt, right? Especially when a pack of dogs tip them all together. But does it mean your dog is confused or following your train of thought closely? When you talk to your dog about the meaning of life and he tilts his head to the side, it's similar to the human knot. It shows that he's engaged and curious. And dogs know that the meaning of life is plenty of naps, treats, and walks, and cuddles, right? He's not only listening, but he or she is prepared to read between the lines. The head tilt tends to encourage humans to keep talking, and dogs lap up all that attention. Next up is the guilty face. It's instantly recognizable to attentive dog owners. You come home from work and your dog is sitting there with a bowed posture, his or her chin is tilted downward, and a big, sad, sorrowful eyes are showing. Even if you haven't spotted the ruins of your couch yet, you know he or she's done something very, very not so good, right? Some dogs have even been known to throw themselves on their backs and just play dead, (laughs) right? In these instances. However, researchers have concluded that the Hangdog expression actually reflects a fear of scolding rather than the more complex human emotion of guilt. Number three is the smile. Whether it's ear to ear or more Mona Lisa, dogs do smile. We know that, right? Most of the mouth open and curved up at the corners, tongue is just lolling out is the cutest thing ever. But y'all, dogs typically use body language to express happiness. And their ability to smile is an adaptive evolutionary behavior related to living with humans. Humans respond to a smiling face. A dog smile is a brilliant example of their ability to observe human behavior and manipulate us with charm. When a dog smiles, humans react positively with affection, treats, and just excitement. Plus, we automatically smile back. It's a win-win situation. Number four is the worry look. In the wild, dogs would never let others see them sweat. But as domesticated creatures, dogs have evolved facial movements to communicate specifically with bipeds in ways that we understand. They use different body language when communicating with other dogs 
or strange animals. If their human is doing something that's concerning, such as packing a suitcase, a worried dog will raise their eyebrows, wrinkle their nose, make their eyes bigger, and let their ears droop. They know what they're doing. In fact, over time, they had to adapt their muscles to raise their eyebrows. And when our dogs look worried, we respond by offering comfort and reassurance, even if we don't cancel our vacation. And number five, our last one, is going to be the submissive grin. Resembling a grimness of more than a grin, dogs use it as a great effect, right? The submissive grin shows a lot of teeth, with the top and bottom lip raised and retracted as if they're looking in a mirror to see if there's food caught in their teeth. This grin may be mistaken for aggression, but it's actually the quite opposite. It's a differential expression that's used when a dog wants to appear friendly or when they know they've done something you don't like and they're a little embarrassed. Now, there is a really internet famous yellow lab, I think his name is Denver, uses it to a great effect when he's asked if he's did something naughty. Go check it out. If you made it this far in the episode and you like what you heard so far, give us a thumbs up a five-star rating, and as well as a positive review below. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss each new weekly episode. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.